Good afternoon folks. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how to use our uh, flaskets containing multiplication media to propagate Phalaenopsis using old flower stems. Now as you can see this flower stem I've got in my hand at the minute if you look carefully you'll notice midway is a bud. Now it's not a, it's not a flower bud which would be like this one this is an old stem which has previously flowered and as you can see there's a white scar there where the flower was and also on these these have also already flowered so they're no good these are from further down the stem and they're from an area where it produced a bud but it hasn't yet produced either a flower or a stem now the thing to notice about these is I've cut them and they're about an inch and a half long inch and a half to two inches long and the bottom end can you see that I've made it pointed and the top end is flat that's really just so you can see which way up they are now what I'm going to be doing with these now is sterilizing these stem sections and removing the the bract or sheath that covers the bud that's underlying this this area here and I'll show you that in, in more detail in a second. Just as a matter of interest, this is the variety of Phalaenopsis that I'm reproducing. It's a new variety. Uh, it's not even got a name yet. But as you can see, it's really, really dark red. Almost black. It's a beautiful little thing. Right, what I've got here, I've got the stem cutting sitting in a bath of 10% solution household bleach it's 10 mils of bleach to 90 mils of water and it sits in this for around 15 minutes with fairly frequent agitation and this is going to sterilize the outsides now that the stem cuttings have been soaking for 15 minutes we can empty them onto the sterilized petri dish now I've already in advance sterilize my gloves with ethyl alcohol or isopropyl alcohol to remove any bacteria and now what we're going to do with the sterilized scalpel is we're going to remove very carefully the bract covering the bud it's a dormant bud that's underneath remember this was far down on the flower stem um, not one that's already produced a flower because that's already spent so carefully peel back the sheath without disturbing the bud underneath and here I'm using tweezers just to prise off the loose bits. You have to be very careful when doing this because if you damage the bud underneath the game's up and you have to scrap that one and start with another one. So take your time be as delicate as you can you also need to make sure that you remove all fragments of the sheath because any sheath that you leave behind any little bits can become contaminated and can hold bacteria and molds yeasts all kinds of things so this is the second stage in the process and we're going to be shortly soaking these again in the bleach solution which again is 10% so that's 10 millilitres of household bleach the thin material not the thick stuff with 90 mils of water now I use sterilized water which has been autoclaved but you can use straightforward distilled water or even reverse osmosis water the main criteria is that it's as clean as possible and the work surface that you can see in the background the white has also been completely sterilized by wiping it with IPA which is isopropyl alcohol and as the all the vessels and all the utensils everything's been wiped down and sterilized so we're coming up to the second one now hopefully you can see the bud that I'm trying to uncover 
although it is a little bit dark because of the lighting in the box uh, but I'm sure you, you're getting the idea of it so gently scrape away and I'm using you'll notice I'm using the front sharp part of the scalpel as well as the back blunt side so the sharp bit I'm using to make an incision into the sheath and the reverse of it the blunt side I'm using to pull it down the stem so hopefully now you can see that bud sticking out to the side and that's what you're aiming for that is what's going to become your little plant now this is the final one and again we're going to take off that sheath as careful as we can now I'm doing it today inside a laminar flow hood or cabinet which has got filtered air but you could do the same thing in a polystyrene box which has been wiped with alcohol and has a front plastic sheet like a curtain which is also white with alcohol you could undertake all this process inside now fill up with the bleach solution again tap to remove any bubbles and let it sand for another 15 minutes with agitation now what we're planting these stem cuttings in is the multiplication flasklets or mini flasks which are available on the link that you can now see on screen. I'm now sterilizing the outside of the packet by spraying it with IPA, isopropyl alcohol. The inside of the packet and the flasks themselves are already sterile uh, and contain a vast range of nutrients which is available on the website so you can see what's in there as well as antifungal materials and uh, a special blend of antibiotics available in three different types these this particular one is fitted with a 0.2 micron filter to keep out uh, bacteria and other contaminants but allowing oxygen in for the growing plants it's also available for seed sowing purposes which is another flasklet as you can see I've just sterilized my hands again by spraying with alcohol and here are the stem cuttings which have been soaking for 15 minutes again this is the second soak that I've had and now we're going to remove them using the tweezers which themselves have been sterilized again So carefully remove the tweezers and place them onto the sterile petri dish in my case. You could use a sheet of glass, you could even use a saucer. Just remember to sterilise it by wiping it with alcohol. And now what I'm doing, I'm trimming off maybe two millimetres of the stem at each end of the cutting. As you can see, there's a little tiny piece sticking right at the end of the, the scalpel. There you go and that's the area that's been in contact with the bleach for the last half an hour so that needs to come off and now we take one of the flasks carefully remove the lid place it so that the inside surface is down in other words it's not pointing up take the stem cell pointed end down and insert it up to the level of the bud in the jelly making sure it's vertical and quickly replace the cap and that's your first one done I'll just show you that again remove the second one onto the petri dish and again remove a couple of millimeters at either end which has been in contact with the bleach for a long time because that material is effectively dead now because it's been sterilized to death so just whip it off being 
being careful not to damage the bud that you've been looking after all this time you don't want to knock it off at this stage with the tweezers again pointed end down place the lid onto the sterilized surface and try not if possible try not to touch the insides of the glass or plastic tube with the with anything keeps it as sterilized as possible that's the second one done and the final one take off the tips and of course we know which way up they are because if you remember we cut them so that the bottom end was pointed and the top was flat so you know that you're not planting your cutting upside down so here we go this is the last one in and just rest that bud just on the surface or just above the surface and that's the process complete don't forget you can purchase all of the parts that you've seen today the flasklets etc from orchidspecies.co.uk on the link now showing